All right. Okay. This is how you middle, okay? okay? Guess who I ran into today? Who? 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 Kelly Lang. No! Get out no. of here! No. 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 What? Wow. I thought she was dead. No. Stage four, no. man. She survived her cancer. She's uh, okay. Oh, wow. She's living in Bend, uh, Oregon. Really? Bend, Oregon? Wow. I gotta tell you, some of the best advice I ever got in my life was from Kelly Lang. Huh. I was starting the business, and you may forget this, but I was deciding, do I go chairs or do I go mattresses? And she said, Freddie, not everybody wants to sit. But everybody's got to sleep. That's right. Huh. And I never looked back. And I think I listened to it because she was stage four. Yeah. It had like an that impact to it. Yeah. I know. Right? I had the same sort of experience with her because she was stage four. We were having a long talk, and she gave me some very good advice, and she said, don't ever sign a prenup. Whoa. And I didn't, and it was very good advice. That worked out very well did. for you, Cheryl. It was very good advice. <laughs> she was smart about that. She was that. a sage. She gave me some advice when she was stage four. And She's it, the one who told you not to sign a prenup? Yes, she had some sort of perspective that other people don't have. Right. Yeah, Absolutely. it's good advice. Right. Yeah. You know what she did for us, Jeff? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? We were going through that really rough patch, and we were going to split. Mm -hmm. And she said, work it out. You guys are meant for each other. That's oh. nice. You're going to have a long, wonderful That's life nice, and a sir. marriage. Back Cheers to that. Bravo, this is a bravo. great conversation. Yeah. Cheers to that. Bravo. 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 bravo to you and to you I'm guys. I'm happy for you. Let me ask you this question. What about stage three advice? What do you do? And death is not looming? Is what percentage? 20%. 20%. You listen 20%. What about you? 60-40. 60-40. Freddie? That's a true coin flip for me. I could go either yeah, way with that. Yeah. Yeah. Harry? It well, I listen, but grain of salt. Nah. Grain of salt. You couldn't pay me to listen to advice from a stage three. Stage four only. Oh. Stage three doesn't get his ear. I don't think. I don't think. Stage four. 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 Stage Remember that woman that I was texting with? You said I should tell her that uh, I'm doing a hot dog eating contest? Yeah. What What happened? She believed me. Oh, my God. You're yeah. kidding. No, I'm no, I'm not. How could she believe that? It's a, it's a joke. It's a joke. But you know what happened was you gave me a lie so fucking crazy that she's like, well, this. why would he lie about this? This has to be true. Huh. Who's the guy that said uh, the bigger the lie, the more they believe it? Oh, Goebbels. Goebbels. Yeah, you gave me a Goebbels level lie. Seriously? Yeah, well, I don't, yeah. Are you saying I, I achieved Goebbels lying status? Yeah, yeah, you're Because you're, Goebbels is the goat. And you know what happens when you use a lie from the goat? Not only did she believe it, but she's impressed. She's like obsessed with it now. She texts me all day. When did you get into hot dogs? Do you like pork or beef or? Wow. I'm so paranoid she's gonna come over to my place. I had to go to Eagle Rock to a little trophy store, have a trophy made up for a hot dog eating contest that I won in 1998 that I was never in. What are you gonna do about the hot dog eating contest? You're gonna be in the contest? Fuck no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this going as long as I can. Hopefully we can hook up and then I can, can have my doctor text me or, or call me and say, oh, you know what, you're, because of your health, I'm gonna have to recommend that you drop out. I gotta have, fuck, I gotta make up a doctor now. By the way, what? I wouldn't be so fast to drop the uh, hot dog eating. Clearly, this is <laughs> this is the best thing you've got going for you. Well, um, here's your taxes. Enjoy your refund, Goebbels. Sorry, Harry. I did the best I could. Yeah, well, you did too good. <laughs>